Hey everyone, Anton here from the Huntress SOC Tactical Response Team coming at you with a case that is fresh out the oven, triaged just a couple days ago. And in this instance, uh, this case kind of answers the age old question of what do threat actors do when they compromise your screen connect instance? Typically, what we see is enumeration commands, credential dumping, lateral movement, uh, things like that out of a compromised uh, Screen Connect instance. In this case, the threat actor decided to flip the script a little bit and did something a little bit unorthodox where they actually installed their own uh, malicious Screen Connect instance via the partner's legitimate Screen Connect instance. So we have a little bit of an inception dynamic happening here where uh, Screen Connect is used to deploy Screen Connect. Um, and one of those Screen Connect instances is legitimate, and obviously the one that got deployed is nefarious and illegitimate. So what does this look like in your logs, right? How can you look for this kind of stuff in your environment? What kind of things do you look for? So one of the telltale signs is this MSI exec execution uh, happening from the Screen Connect instance. That is a little bit rare, uh, especially when the MSI is actually installing a secondary uh, Screen Connect instance. So in this case, what we did is we saw this initial uh, Screen Connect compromise. We then did a little bit of forensic analysis to timeline here. And what we could see here is that the Screen Connect instance was compromised originally um, around uh, 7 p.m. And shortly after that, the threat actor compromised additional Screen Connect instances. So when we pull the event logs from the affected organization, we can kind of see the timeline of who patient zero was, how did this intrusion actually start, and where the malicious Screen Connect instance got installed so that we're able to communicate these things to the partner so they could kind of close the gaps and remediate where necessary. So we can see there was a bunch of Screen Connect instances as well. And once we get to the bottom of our timeline here, we see that actually a couple commands were executed via the malicious Screen Connect instance. So to look at what actual commands were executed, we could go to our EDR product, take a look at the timeline here, and the process tree here is telling where we have a command prompt spawning out of a Screen Connect instance, and then out of that command prompt, we have this NLT test command. So this is uh, the threat actor doing enumeration on the domain, figuring out where the domain trusts are, where the domain relationships are. There was additional signals for domain admins enumeration as well through this malicious Screen Connect instance. Luckily for the partner in this case, uh, Huntress actually isolated this network uh, very rapidly as soon as we saw the malicious Screen Connect instance being spread throughout the network. So just a really interesting case here where you have different strands of telemetry working together. You have the process telemetry via the EDR, you have the forensic artifacts via the application channel, looking at where the Screen Connect instance was actually installed, timelining those events, helping the partner scope the incident. So I hope everyone enjoyed uh, this quick video where the threat actor compromised a Screen Connect instance to install yet another Screen Connect instance. Uh, so kind of a fun case that we wanted to share with you. Cheers.